Today, I would like to show you a few exercises that may improve your running speed. Therefore, before we begin, press like and hit the bell button and let's get going. Guys, as a rule, I should warn you that warm-up activities are necessary before and after each workout. Do a light jog and stretching and then proceed directly to the exercises. Mates, now I will just immediately show the exercises to you so that we waste no more time. After we had a warm up, had our knees, our feet, knees and back stretched, we're moving on to squats. Pay attention to your technique. No hurry. Our moves must be smooth. We tighten the thigh muscles as well as the buttocks. Our posture is straight. We look straight ahead and our toes look to the sides. Our feet must be slightly wider than shoulder width and there's no need to squat below 90 degrees. Stay in the middle, exactly as you see in the example. Using this approach, we squat 10 times for three sets. We have turned on our muscles, while our legs know what will happen soon. We complicate it a bit by converting into jump squats. Let's remember our technical approach from the last one. Stick to the same notes, but only with jumping. Hands in front, as if we are about to sweep them, as you can see in the example. Great job, three sets of 10 repetitions, but don't forget to have a break between them, half a minute break, and then do it once again. Even these squats provide a good effort on our speed as they're responsible for explosive power. This is exactly what we need when running, fast start and strong legs. Another quick tip, while in the phase of this positioning, don't forget to set yourself still for one to two seconds. Set still, jump out, set still, jump out. Subsequently, the legs will be adapting well. They will be involved in work and you will feel significant progress. The next one also applies to the basics. No big deal, we do lunges. Take a step forward and return to the starting position. No need to do a wide step lunge. Our knees shouldn't go past the toe. Ten times will be enough, five for each leg. Again, stay focused on your technique. No need to put our foot too far. No stretching here, mates. 90 degrees. We turn on our hips so that our muscles activate. Everything else is already stretching. This way we harm our ligaments and knees. No need to think of extra moves. Set comfortable leg distance. Do a lunge, set still. Do a lunge, set still. That's all. Keep working the same way. Three sets of 10 repetitions, half a minute break, back to work. Let's make this task more difficult by adding some jumping. The first exercise is always the precautionary one. We let our muscles know what's about to happen. We include them in the process. That is what the principle of progression is about. Little by little, we gradually make the exercise more complicated. Consider a similar technique as in the last exercise. Remember what was mentioned and do exactly the same thing, but with jumping. In this exercise, we should already have found out how our muscles are clogged. Therefore, after doing three sets and after all repetitions, after all efforts put, have more rest. Two minutes break, legs are recovering. In no case do we fall, no lying down, no sitting. We should walk, shake our legs, or do some stretching, always on the move. The next one will also be aimed to improve your explosive speed, explosive power. We kneel down and our task is to jump out and stand on our feet. Here's the way it should look like. We get on our knees, jump, we got it. And so 10 times, stay calm, don't rush. In this exercise, no rushing is required. Calmly get to the starting position with the help of arms sweep. Thus, you can jump out and stand on your feet. No leg spinning, the posture is straight. Mind proper technique. As always, three sets and a pause. 
We've already done a good job, mates, haven't we? Now you can like the video as we proceed to much faster moves. Next exercise. Remember squats and jumps, but this time we are doing forward frog jumps. We just do these in seven to 10 repetitions. Thus, we increase our explosive power, push, which will help us to have a fast, strong, powerful start when running. Let's go. Let me go this way, as I'll be jumping out of the camera view, mates. After the jumps, we move on to the shuttle run. Arrange mini cones or any other items that can replace them. I put three mini cones at the initial stage. That's enough. In a while, the load can already be increased. Mates, let's see what we're supposed to do in this task. We get to the start at the first cone. Get ready. Make a spurt to the second. Return to start backwards. Put the thigh forward and run to the far cone. Return to the previous cone backwards and put the thigh forward Spurt one more time, but not to the third cone, but pass it for five to 10 meters and calmly stop. Not abruptly though, this way you'll avoid injuries. I also wanna focus on your technique, no overdoing. Don't scatter your feet left to right, delicate thigh release. Here's what this exercise is aimed for. Firstly, to load up your legs. Here, the thigh will be involved, its back area in particular, which will then make a right impact on our stamina and our speed. The second thing we focus on is while coming backwards, we throw our leg back a bit in order to make a quick start and release the thigh forward. No overdoing, let's go. Folks, our rest lays in the way we come back. We come back to start either in a light jog or a calm step. Going back there and starting once again. No pause required calmly returned and started again. Our recovery is in the return. You should do at least five sets. Besides, have a look on your hands. They are moving, no static positioning. Legs are moving and the hands are moving too. No speed and strength wasting. They should only help us succeed. Here, spurt, legs, hands are moving, return back, put the leg back a bit, release the thigh forward. Return, legs are moving. I suppose we can end things up at this point this might be enough for the start because if everything is done correctly, all the approaches performed the exact way I showed and told you, then I think our legs should be loaded just fine. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, give it a like, and click on the bell button. Thanks to all. Bye, everyone.